it's always for Danny it's always Papa yeah like who is doing interviews and stuff because <laughs> he thinks Mama is a noob. <laughs> We met Sopiko in 2017 when the World Cup was held in Tbilisi. It was a wonderful interview that also had little Danny who was tugging at the wires and was just a year old. 6 years later, we once again got the opportunity to interview Sopiko when we visited The Hague, the residence of Anish and Sopiko. Danny is now 7 years old and has a little brother in Michael and a little sister in 1 month old Rihanna. Warm and caring Sopiko is now a phenomenal chef and treated us to some delicious dishes. From being one of the most aggressive tactical players out there, Sopiko has transformed herself into a loving wife and a brilliant mom. You must not miss this video of Amruta interviewing Sopiko and getting to know her thoughts. So here we are with Sopiko. Sopiko, yeah. that has been after uh, 2017 Tbilisi, where we had last done our interview. Yeah. And when Danny was very little, he was pulling the wires. <laughs> he was one year old. Ah, yes, yeah. and we are here again after seven years. Yeah. Wow, it's such a pleasure to be with you and Thank to be talking you. to you. <laughs> Thank you. Can you can you tell us about your life? I mean, so much is happening there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, like you just had a, a daughter recently. Yeah. Uh, how how old is she right now? She's one month old. But mm. meanwhile, I had also second kid, <laughs> Michael. <laughs> so within these years, I got two more kids. So I have uh, three now and two boys, one girl. Yeah, really happy. <laughs> yes, and how how are you managing everything? I mean, three kids and you know, um, Anish is playing tournaments. Anish is fourth, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, well, it it's it takes a lot of time. <laughs> it takes twenty four seven. But um, Anish is helping me very much when he's uh, home um, and when he's on tournaments. Then I have uh, help from my family because now with three, it's uh, a bit difficult uh, to manage everything. Danny is going uh, to school and to lots of uh, different sports, so we have to bring him and uh, everywhere. And there is a lot of things to do at home. Uh, but I cannot complain because. <laughs> Uh, I get help from uh, Anish as well, from my family as well, and uh, yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. And when you said Danny also is into sports, yeah. what kind of sports he's right now learning? Uh, so he's going to swimming, basketball, tennis. We do skiing also uh, when it's uh, winter. And uh, yeah, he he got into chess a bit, but he's not doing uh, any kind of serious things. Just uh, <laughs> just uh, a bit of puzzles and he likes to follow Anish's tournaments and he is a big fan number 1 <laughs> he is a big fan of Anish you mean yeah, yeah. oh wow so yeah, when of Anish... course me i never played so he's like mom also you know the thing was that when he was little uh, and i wanted to teach him chess um, so i was always like letting him to win and so i was giving him pieces uh, so he has like horrible impression of me probably like i cannot play i'm a noob <laughs> like <laughs> at some point he was uh, playing against i think my mom and uh, then uh, my mom beat him or something like this and he was like but i beat my mom how could i lose with grandma <laughs> but that that He was like three years old or something at that point, or four years old. Now he's big. He understands. <laughs> okay, so many questions. Like you know, when you said your mom also plays chess. Yeah. <laughs> like she plays chess and. Yeah. Wow, what what she is the level like? Actually, she she was playing uh, chess way before me, <laughs> mm -hmm. so she was um, Soviet Union champion under sixteen from. region side or something i don't exactly know <laughs> like the exact title but she... I i'll take her interview when i meet him and meet her and then <laughs> <Yeah>. he would know <laughs> i have to ask <laughs> yeah but she was very good and then she got married um she stopped playing chess but after i got interested into chess she 
actually got back uh, to playing. Now she plays much more than me. She is, uh, uh, whenever she has time, because she's very busy, uh, we have a lot of uh, kids <laughs> in Georgia as well. I have two sisters and they uh, both have uh, children. And she's a big grand grandma, you know, like uh, who helps everybody. Uh, but when she has time in the evening, she's always playing online. She mm -hmm. plays way more. I'm not even sure if I play her now. She's in such great shape. I, I'm not sure who, who's gonna win. <laughs> wow. I mean, what, what was the rating like? Now she's like around 2000, uh, but uh, I have yeah. stopped playing chess, yeah. kind of. So I'm pretty rusty and she's in shape and it's equal battle. <laughs> Amazing. And do, do you miss playing chess? Um, I cannot say like I miss, probably I don't have time to miss, like that's, <laughs> that's the thing, um, because yeah, it's being very busy uh, here with uh, three kids and uh, uh, for now, for now I don't have time to think about uh, chess, but I, I want to at some point Come back, be active <laughs> again when they grow up. Probably. When was your last tournament? You Ooh, played? I don't know. <laughs> it was a long time ago. But it was before Danny, right? Before Danny was born and. Uh... After Danny, I also played. No, after Danny, I, I played Vikansay, then I played uh, World uh, Women's Championship. That was very good tournament for me. Mm -hmm. uh, then I changed federation <laughs> and I played one uh, league game uh, I think it was around 2020 or 2019 yeah basically my last game was around that time okay. maybe 19 the best <laughs> but yeah <laughs> it's been a long time yeah and what about uh, commentary you were such an you are such an amazing commentator we really miss you so <laughs> Uh, do, you, do you miss commentary too? Yeah, commentary is very different from uh, playing. Playing has its own like uh, beauty, you know, that you're preparing, then you're playing and then uh, uh, you get the result. Uh, commentary, it's like stress-free. Uh, it's... Um, probably more time consuming because you can finish your game in an hour and be free and uh, with commentary you're uh, there for the, till the last game ends but I enjoyed it very much I really liked commentary I loved uh, uh, my co-commentators and uh, it was real fun so yes I do miss I actually like uh, to combine both uh, in the future commentary and uh, playing so let's see let's see but first kids have to grow up <laughs> and uh, then then maybe I'll have more time wow <laughs> and uh, Michael what like is he taking interest in anything you know generally when you see your older brother he likes this or that <laughs> yeah. you know you start liking the same thing how is it with Michael Michael is like he's hilarious he's such a fun guy <laughs> really he is and he has such age he's two now and he has this uh, age where they start talking and he he's very good like very good with uh, uh, Georgian he talks a lot and it the, he has this baby language but it's so lovely he's really really amazing and he loves his older brother. Daniel is his, I don't know, uh, he copies him in everything. Like if Danny does like, hi, Michael is also hi. <laughs> and he repeats everything after him. So it's really, really great. <laughs> yeah, it was so nice that even while eating cake, uh, you know, they're sharing it. And it's such yeah. a nice, uh, you know, sibling <laughs> love there. Yeah. So uh, Danny also always taking care. Uh, of both of them, yeah, Ayana. Yeah, he's a big, dog, and... big boy already. Yeah, Danny, Danny is such boy that you can ask him uh, everything <laughs> already. Like, uh, if I need, I ask him to hold Rihanna, and he himself wants very much. Like the first thing uh, before when he wakes up before going to school, he is like running into our room and like, oh. Rihanna, 
Adriana, <laughs> like, uh, how are you? And plays with her, then he comes back from school and like, where is Rihanna? Oh, is she still sleeping? <laughs> but yeah, he, and he he's observing, like he's uh, uh, saying, oh, it's like so cool when she, she became a bit uh, more chubby and then, oh, she's more awake and she's playing with uh, me right now. So it's really good times. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And when he said that he's the number one fan of Anish, like, like does he watch Anish when he's playing the tournament, like live? And does he, yeah, he like, what, how does he react when the game is happening? When Anish is either winning or losing, yeah. how is it like? <laughs> yeah, he loves it uh, completely, and uh, he's like he he loves uh, and he knows uh, everything. Uh, he knows like. Um, all the players uh, and uh, everything uh, like the standing the pairing who is playing who and then uh, he's he gets a bit worried when Anish is playing and uh, you know it's also like fun he's watching commentary also and then uh, when the bar is going up and down and he's like oh he's winning he's winning <laughs> It's really fun to see and uh, he follows, he's always interested when Anish is on tournaments. He, first question when he comes from school, like, how was the game? <laughs> and uh, yeah, at some point it was very lovely that uh, Anish was uh, analyzing something he told me and then uh, Daniel entered and he was like, so Dad, I want to ask you something and then he sees that he's <laughs> analyzing and he goes like, why don't you castle here? <laughs> <laughs> and then, then, oh, anyway, so I wanted to ask you, and that gets back <laughs> to what you wanted to ask. <laughs> yeah, that is so lovely. lovely. And what, like, how do you feel when Anish is playing? Like, do you feel stressed, or how is it for you? Um, probably when I had one kid, <laughs> I felt more uh, stressed, like, I was more nervous. After two, it became less, and after three, it's like, oh, how did you do? <laughs> it's like, I don't care anymore. No, no the no, thing no. is that at some point he found out that I didn't watch uh, some of his games, and uh, he was like, did you actually see that game? And I was like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, which one? And then he was like, you have to see, it's, it was really nice game. <laughs> so yeah, um, just it became really busy for me. So whenever I follow his tournament, it's more like clicking, you know, and uh, <laughs> doing uh, doing this type of uh, stuff. <laughs> and, and how is um, Anish as a father? Oh, he's great. He's uh, really really good father <laughs> i can say he he's like buddies with uh, children you know like with daniel and uh, with uh, michael and uh, yeah rihanna is still new so <laughs> we'll find out how she will be daddy's girl or not but anish is great he's um, he's really like um, always there when kids are uh, asking him something and he has his routine with Daniel that they are doing something every evening before sleep and uh, yeah it, they have very um, very good relationship like friends and uh, it's not uh, we always keep like boundaries with uh, kids but uh, it generally it's like here it's like a lot of love and uh, more like friendship type of uh, relationship rather than you know like a uh, strict one <laughs> yeah also you're such a young uh, you know parents here yeah. so that would really help there yeah uh, so, so what is like the ideal day like when you know all of you are here Anish doesn't have a tournament upcoming and how is your like day like and how when they go to the school and can you can you describe it for us yeah, now we live like near uh, sea, near beach, and uh, when it's sunny, it's like we usually we we try always to have a walk. Uh, and when it's sunny, it's more beautiful uh, here. And uh, yeah, we are having like non-stop talks, and we are going out. We are having some. Daniel always asks uh, some snacks and uh, Anish is always like, oh, you really want it? And I'm like, nope, <laughs> not allowed. <laughs> 
but he's the one who is... Then, then they win. The team, uh, Daniel and Anish, they are the team. And they, they win over me. But it's like, yeah, uh, we just enjoy our time. We just enjoy being together. And um, we, we are just uh, having fun. Uh, uh, just being together. We don't do anything special to have like an ideal uh, day, but we enjoy every moment of the day. <laughs> and uh, so you're from Georgia. So like how often are you able to, you know, uh, visit your family in Georgia? Yeah, we go there pretty often. Um, before COVID, it was more often, um, uh, like on holidays, school holidays, we were going, but then uh, after COVID and during COVID, it was impossible simply to travel. Uh, but I'm very lucky because like my family is also visiting us pretty uh, often. And um, at least once a year we go uh, to Georgia and it's very nice for kids also because we have a lot of cousins there, relatives. So they all get together at my mom's place and uh, you can imagine, it's like a lot of kids, <laughs> a lot of parents and uh, grandma is uh, really happy, but it looks does look like a crazy house with a lot of kids, you know, <laughs> but it's, it's cool, it's very cool and uh, uh, it's uh, great for the language as well because now they are uh, fluent in um, uh, language like uh, Georgian, Daniel speaks Georgian, Russian, Dutch. Uh, fluently and starts to speak English and um, yeah now he was when, when we did this interview he was Stability. like disturbing yes. <laughs> and now he's the one <laughs> well, so now also, like, everyone knows that with the ball, you know? like, <laughs> that time it was the wires yeah that was the, uh, the ball <laughs> So, well, that's nice actually <laughs> that he was disturbing. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm still there. I'm still that guy who was disturbing you. <laughs> no, but 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 suppose he gets interested in chess. Like, is it going to be like a good news for you, or is it going to be like, oh, another guy? Yeah, in chess? I'll be I'll be more than happy. I'm not uh, against it that he is a chess player if he becomes one. Uh, but I'm also not like pushing him like so that you have to become. Um, generally, I, I think it's very rare when you have professional uh, chess players or even in other sports. <laughs> Another one came. <laughs> okay, now this I think yeah. is a tradition of the interview. We need yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now we need like Rihanna to cry yeah. and uh, they will all yeah. join. <laughs> Yeah, and so I'm not really pushing um, him, uh, but uh, he's just uh, free to choose whatever profession he wants um, will support him in any case. <laughs> and, and you must be aware that Anish has a lot of Indian fan following as well yeah. because of his <laughs> Nepali roots. Are you aware? <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. So, uh, so how do you feel about that? <laughs> no, it's great. I love uh, support uh, and uh, I... I I've been in India many, not many times, once, and yeah, I had difficult times because I had very bad tournament, you know, these <laughs> youngsters, it, uh, it was horrible, they took uh, all my rating, <laughs> left me with... Uh, that was a social nothing. work you did. <laughs> <laughs> left me with nothing, and but... Um, I'm always amazed with people, uh, like how warm they are and how hospitable and uh, uh, they always want to help you and the support they give also like uh, to Anish and uh, to other Indian players as well, it's just great, it feels very, very good and I think it's very important for the player also, you know, to feel um, some responsibility against fans. Uh, uh, with fans yeah yeah no it's it's really amazing the way Anish you know has been able to uh, feel even uh, for all the Indians like a family it's yeah. a, we call him the family man as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, but one more question have you been to Nepal like you know does Anish have uh, now you know no but I have not been there but hopefully we will uh, go there one day with uh, all kids because uh, it's nice for them to know uh, the roots and uh, uh, everything and uh, 
generally I just would love uh, to love visit love Nepal one day, but for now they are too small <laughs> to travel so far. So yeah, let's see. Hopefully one day. Oh, great. Thank you, Sophie, for, Thank for sharing you. with us so many things. And it was all very interesting. And <laughs> these kids here, they have... <laughs> they are making mess. They are the ones <laughs> responsible. <laughs> oh. Thank okay, you. Okay, bye-bye.